Gravity the Ghost! Hey guys, it's Gravity the Ghost, and it's finally time for the giveaway. Um, as you all know, I started a giveaway in the er, in the beginning of September. Um, you know, show appreciation for you people watching me, even though I'll, I rarely put out actual content. But, uh... It was pretty, it was, I asked you all to add, ask me a question and then so I could answer in a Q&A video. And that Q&A video is right now. Surprisingly, a ton of you guys entered, about 114 of you. That's pretty insane. I, I only expected at least like 50 or so, but to get double that, that's insane. Um, I even reached more than 300, I'm almost at, actually, I'm almost at 400 subscribers, which is, oh man, I don't even know how I got that far. <laughs> Anyways, uh, today I'll be getting to answering most of, pretty much all your questions. Uh, without further ado, let's get to the questions. So there was actually a whole bunch of people that asked me the same questions. So I'm going to be addressing all of those questions in one like video. Uh, so basically, <laughs> well, in one section. So there was a, a like about six or seven, six or seven questions. That a lot of people were frequently asking me so I'm just gonna answer them all right here so the first the first three is relating to the favorites what is your favorite switch game what is your favorite game series your favorite game system so I might as well just answer them all right now as of now my favorite Nintendo switch game is arms uh, it's been my favorite game ever since I first played it and <laughs> it was my most anticipated game of uh, 2017 and I love it um, as much as anyone tries to say, I'm going to disagree with you that ARMS is not a dead game and it will probably not be a dead game for a very while, long while. <laughs> the fan base is still kicking. We, we got a growing competitive community. It's, it's great. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to the future of ARMS. But it's my favorite Switch game at the moment. But probably when Smash comes out, it'll probably be my favorite. For my favorite game series gotta be Pokemon. Pokemon has been the very first game that I've ever played, uh, specifically Pokemon Sapphire, and I pretty much played every single generation of Pokemon up to this point. And I'm really excited for uh, the next generation for next year and especially for the new Pokemon Let's Go game, even though I'm not as excited for it as I am for the tw next uh, the next generation. And for my favorite game system of all time, it probably would have to be the Nintendo 3DS. The library for that, see that for that handheld is insane. Uh, there's so many amazing games on there. I'm actually want to make a whole ton of videos about the 3DS leading up to the rest of this year and probably into next year. And I just really love the system. I have put so many hours in this game. I have so many games, whether it be digital or physical. Um, I just love it a lot. All right, the next question that a whole bunch of you guys asked was, "What character do I want in Smash?" Simply put. Give me Karate Joe from Rhythm Heaven, please, please, please. I'm still, I'm still hoping for Karate Joe, even though his chances are very slim right now, extremely slim. Uh, I'm still holding out for my boy. Come on, we, we can, you can do it. We can do it. Next, uh, next question is, what made you want to do YouTube? So basically, here's how I'm going to answer this. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to do YouTube was just to entertain I wanted to you know make people enjoy watching me um, my this channel gravity of the ghost isn't actually my very first YouTube channel um, I went by I me and my me and a group of friends originally made our own YouTube channel just doing just doing super random stuff and all that we thought it was cool Obviously, I don't keep in, I haven't kept in contact with any of those people that I made videos with in a while, and all of our videos from that past channel are now private, and no one will ever see them, and I will not tell you <laughs> our past channel. <laughs> but still, um, and that was like, I don't know, man. Uh, looking back at it, I made that first channel when I was in uh, eighth grade, um, and I graduated a, while, a couple years ago. So that's like seven years ago. So like maybe 2010, 2011 is when I first started making YouTube videos. So it's, I, I've been here for a while. <laughs> just like I've just been hopping from channel to channel. <laughs> Next question is, 
Yeah, this was a more of like a very like a varied amount of questions, but I decided to mash it into one. Basically, if you had XX amount of money, what would you buy with that money? Um, most of the time, I'll probably just put it in the bank, just save it up and stuff. But obviously, I'll have some impulse buys here and there, and then I'll buy stuff you know that I want but I don't need, because um, you know that's how usually we all are. Uh, but if I want to be really honest, if I had like a large amount of money, like say. Um, like a hundred dollars or something uh, just probably buy a new game and then lastly I got a lot of Street Fighter related questions because the gameplay in that video was Street Fighter 30th anniversary okay let me just tell you one thing I'm not a big Street Fighter guy I play it casually I'm not a I'm not like super in-depth competitive <laughs> I play it just for fun uh, <laughs> but here I'll answer some common questions like, what's my favorite Street Fighter character? Probably either Sakura or, uh, or Cody. I love playing those characters as well. But I also like playing as uh, Chun-Li in the original Street Fighter 2. Uh, trying to think of other characters. Um, Ryu, I mean. <laughs> that's I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to play Ryu. And then like the other one is... Uh, uh, what's my favorite Street Fighter game? I honestly don't have a favorite Street Fighter game. I like them all equally. Uh, they're cool. But if I had to say probably Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition because it was on the 3DS. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to get on to the uh, qu um, qu questions that people individually asked that were, you know, not multiple people asking the same thing. Uh, so here we go. King Gucci asked. <laughs> I love that name, by the way. <laughs> Did you grow up with Nintendo? Yes and no. So yes in the fact that I did grow up with it, but not very early into my life. Basically when I was uh, first in third grade, it was when I was first uh, you know, introduced to the world of Nintendo, being Pokemon on the Game Boy Advance, being Pokemon Sapphire. Something Chara asked, how did you feel when you posted your first YouTube video? So going back to the, you know, uh, when I started making YouTube was with a group of friends and stuff. When I when we first uploaded our YouTube video, we felt really good about it. But obviously right now we are like, oh my gosh, this is so cringy. Why did we upload this? <laughs> Basically how it goes for pretty much everything you upload for, for the first time. Mr. Ghosty asks, how are you going to celebrate when you hit 1,000 subs? First off, it's never going to happen. I don't see that happening ever. <laughs> if I ever make it to 100,000, to one note, 1,000 subs, first off, I'm gonna be like, I'm probably gonna pinch myself because I think it, this is a dream. Second of all, I'll probably do another giveaway because, you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do like a live stream celebration or something like that. I don't know. I, I just don't see myself getting 1K anytime soon. But hey, it's out there. <laughs> If y'all want to help me get a 1K, you can sure ahead and go do so. <laughs> Hex Dude asks, Waluigi or Wario? Uh, is that even a question? What the heck? It, of course, Waluigi! You gotta be on Team Wa every single time. Even if he ain't even in Smash, you gotta do the Wa. Team Wa. Char Springs asks, Do you play Splatoon? Yes, I do play Splatoon. I play Splatoon 2. Um, most of the time I play it casually, I don't play it like very often, I only have like what 25 hours on Splatoon 2 and on my Switch. But mo there are some times where like I'll participate in Splatfest, sometimes I'll live stream myself playing Splatoon 2. Um, by the way, when I, I stream, I, I usually stream on Tuesdays, so you know if you want to check your boy out, you can always check me out on Tuesdays in the evening time. Uh, Sorry with that plug. <laughs> Yoshi8888 asked, what is your opinion on piracy? It's bad and you shouldn't do it. Like, I'm, like this is a super controversial topic. I don't really want to get into it much. But I'm guessing when he was making this question, this was around the time where uh, people were talking about how Nintendo was getting rid of all of the, uh, and all of the uh, ROMs of their other games. In my opinion, they're entitled to that. They can do whatever they want. Um, I don't really have any problems. Like I've never, I've never pirated anything before. But obviously, piracy is, you know, well against the law. But it's a kind of a, it's kind of an iffy law. 
I honestly don't have any super major stance on it, but overall it's really mostly not a good thing to do. Azriel X Samus <laughs> uh, asks, have you ever had a crush on a fictional character before? Funny thing is, yes, I have. Um, a couple. <laughs> but I want to list one in particular. So, when I was in middle school, the TV show that I would watch the most would be the Pokemon anime. And at the time of me being in middle school, the current generation that was in here was Diamond and Pearl. And I would watch the, you know, watch that episode, you know, video series a lot, you know, on Cartoon Network and stuff. And I gotta be honest, my, <laughs> I, uh, I had like a little fake crush on uh, Dawn from, from Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, yeah, laugh all you want. I mean, everyone has their own childhood fictional character crush. Don't lie, you know you had one. Flaming Ninetales asks, which do you think is better, Pokemon Sun and Moon or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? That's kind of a hard question, for me at least. <laughs> because for me, the story of Pokemon Sun and Moon is more superior, but the features and all the content in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is more superior. So each, but if I had to say either one, I, for me, in my opinion, it has to be Pokemon Sun and Moon because the story was the most emotional to me. Um, it was just really amazing, and I really, really hope uh, the Pokemon series has mo a more cinematic stories like Sun and Moon did, because I love the story of it. The end of it made me pretty emotional. Um, I was, you know, emotionally attached to the characters. It was such great, but, but yeah, still, Ultra Sun Ultra Moon was a good game too. But overall, I have to say Pokemon Sun and Moon. Enchanter109 asks, can you make a video on Fortnite? Sure, why not? Let's go do it. Hey guys, uh, welcome to my uh, my, my uh, Fortnite Let's Play. Uh, this is episode one. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, squads. Uh, actually, no, let's go to solo. Let's try to get that. The number one epic battle royale win. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to get that. We're going to get that epic royale. And we're going to default dance on them. On them haters. As you can see, I play as the default all day, every day. We free boys. We don't be paying. We're going to do it just to hate. Or <laughs> just to hit on them. <laughs> Obviously, you can check out my channel. Uh, you can check out my channel, Epic Gravity Ghost XX down down slash XX. Uh, uh, you know, down in the comments. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, uh, and all that good stuff. We got a default dance on them haters. And obviously, you gotta you gotta thank the bus driver. That's the law. We're gonna get number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. I can feel it. Number one. This is the place of a champion. I am epic. We're gonna get that epic victory royal. Hey look, we got some guns. We we nice. Oh, they're right here. Oh yeah! We died! Yes! Victory! Wait, 76th place! God! Kikuru asks, how many Switch games do you have? Well, let me see. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know off the top of my head, but I luckily I have my Switch collection with me. Uh, so right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 physical games. And on top of that, when it comes to retail games that are digitally, I have digitally, I have uh, 1, uh, 2, 3... Four, four, four. 
Uh, so altogether, that's what, 16? And then when you're counting, like, downloadable eShop games, that's probably at least 20 or 25. Uh, so, I do have a lot. Delta Zarua asks, what do you think is the best way to kill time? Hello everyone, it's Gravity of the Ghost, and today I'm going to be telling you the best way to kill time. As you can see right now, it's 3.51. So, how do I kill time? Easy! Yan yeah, Loche, I think I pronounced that right, asked, Do you have a childhood game that you still like today? Yes. Allow me to introduce you to the world of Flash Games. <laughs> Flash Games was really, you know, the stuff back then. That was like, you know, the games that you could play when you're in school when they blocked every other website that you liked. There was one Flash game in particular that I enjoyed playing a lot, especially like whenever I would go to like a... To like a community center or something like that you know where you just have some fun and that game was called blooms no not blooms tower defense just blooms this you got to play this monkey with some darts and you're just blowing up you're just throwing it at some balloons try to pop as many as you can to get to the next level it was so much fun uh and i i mean i haven't played it in a very very long time in several several years but I'm pretty sure if I play it again, I'll still have fun with it. Because I love, I love, that was the game of my childhood. One of, one of the games of my childhood. Ali, Ali asked, well, uh, <laughs> I think, and I think I know who this is based on the profile picture. You're probably Ali from Twitter. Uh, uh, Ali to the past. If you are, uh, what's up, my guy? How you doing? Anyways, he asked, do you have a game that you were heavily anticipating and ended up disliking? Actually, yes, I have. I wouldn't say heavily anticipating, but I did anticipate this game. Basically, this game was Puzzles and Dragons Z plus Puzzles and Dragons Mario Edition for the 3DS. Uh, I do love me some RPGs, and I also do love me some puzzle games. So I was like, oh, a puzzle and an RPG? This looks like fun! Then I buy the game. When you first get the game, when you go choose which game you want to play, they recommend you to play the Super Mario Edition for beginners. Obviously, I've never played the series before, so I picked the Mario Edition. And it turns out, the Mario Edition is actually a little more, diff actually more difficult than the actual base game of Puzzle of the Dragon Z. Like, I got through the game much, like, the, the base game that wasn't Mario Edition was actually a little easier and, like, more, you know, more simple. While the Mario Edition was actually more difficult. And then, you know, after that, I... The gameplay got super boring afterwards, and, uh, <laughs> like, at the point I just stopped playing, um, and then I eventually sold the game to a local game shop. Uh, that was probably the most, one of the most disappointing games I've ever played that I was excited for. Luca S. asks, do you have the big gay? The answer is no, I do not have the big gay. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. Kirby Geek 4 asks, what was the worst game you ever got as a gift? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I gotta think about that. Actually, I do have something in mind. Uh, I, don't, I never really had a bad game that I've gotten for a Christmas or a birthday present. Um, but I have gotten one where I've gotten the same present twice. <laughs> like, on the same day. So, this was when we had a Wii. <laughs> we already had, um, I think it was, uh, yeah, we already had Wii Sports. But well, someone gave me another Wii Sports as a Christmas present. And like, uh, I mean, I still accepted it because I didn't want to be rude, but I had two copies of Wii Sports. <laughs> green, which I'm also, I'm off, uh, I could be wrong, but I think it's also green from Twitter. Uh, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> green asks, what are your feelings about Nintendo as a company? Uh, right now, I think they're doing pretty good. I mean, I like what they're how they're going with things. I like how they're doing marketing. Um, yeah, there's some things that they're kind of it's kind of weird how they're doing some things, but still, I think Nintendo's doing pretty all right, and I think they will continue to do all right. Galgamesh Atman 
I had to say it like that. I don't know. <laughs> Galigamish. <laughs> All right. He asks, what Wii or Wii U games do you want ported to Switch? Easy. Port Mario Maker, please. Or at least make a sequel of Mario Maker. The Nintendo Pit Stop asks, what's one game on the Switch do you think is extremely underrated? Well, uh, there's a, this video, this game that I'm going to say is actually going to be a precursor to uh, a video that I'll be making in the future. Uh, this game is called Skypiece. Uh, it's a very small game. Uh, at, I mean, it's only 99 cents. <laughs> but this game is, yeah, in my opinion, is so much fun. Um, I considered it more like a time killer game, something you can play in a very short amount of time. Um, and, you know, the graphics are really cute. They're, I mean, they're still like pixel graphics, but it's really cute. Uh, and I love the gameplay too. It's fast paced. Um, and all that stuff, and I recommend it. I mean, if you got pocket change, heck, if you have any gold Nintendo points, you can literally just give up 99 gold points and then download this game. Um, but I'll talk more about that in my future video. <laughs> yeah, uh, wink, wink, uh, hint, hint. Alien Turd 7 asks, What is the game you spent the most amount of time and effort into it? All right, this is gonna take me a little while because I know for a fact. A, any game that I spent the most amount of time on has probably been on my 3DS and I actually am turning it on right now just to check because I actually don't know it right now <laughs> okay guys uh, I'm back and when I'm looking at it the game that I've spent the most amount of time on it's actually been Super Smash Bros. 3DS I have played this game for 697 hours in 55 minutes how? <laughs> oh my gosh I didn't even know I played it for that long Second place goes to Pokemon Y, which is 412 hours and 35 minutes. And third place goes to Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix, with 212 hours and 21 minutes. T Tapa Rat? Is that, is that how you pronounce that? Tapi Rat? Uh, he asks, what's your opinion on how Nintendo did this year? Well, I would say, you know, what I want to say, but I actually am planning on doing that exact kind of video for the end of the year. So, I'm just going to hold off on your question until then. <laughs> but at the moment, I think they're doing okay. Okay, pretty okay. Yami no Cat asks, If you had to be besties with a video game character, who would it be? Uh, shoot. I don't know, man. I would probably have to go with, uh, screw it. Uh, how about Pit from Kid Icarus? He seems like a cool character to hang out with, uh, Sure, yeah, Pit from Kid Icarus, why not? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. I just came with something that came off the top of my head. There you go, Pit from Kid Icarus. <laughs> Cameron uh, Schuster, is that how, I, did I do that right? Sorry if I did it wrong. <laughs> what are your thoughts about YouTube and your fans? Uh, YouTube at the moment, they've been doing some stuff that's just really weird and stuff that just is anti-consumer. Uh, <laughs> They need to fix that. Um, when it comes to my fans, for all one like five of you out there, I'm just kidding. All 300 or so of you out there that actually, I mean, if any of you actually consider you consider, you know, to be a fan of me, I first off, I really appreciate you that you actually want to watch my stuff. Because uh, to be honest, really, no one has to watch any of my videos. I mean, I'm not doing anything important or anything or anything special that no one else that everyone else is doing um there's like a million other nintendo channels out there <laughs> why pick me out of all of them but um i really appreciate you guys um uh i'm really glad to you know talk with you and stuff like that whether it be here on youtube or on twitter or on my discord um i just love talking with you guys you know having them having some fun um and i just like talking with y'all because, uh, you know, you make me happy. And uh, in return, my videos make you happy. So it's, you know, it's like a win-win. Brawlin' Berloom asks, what is your favorite food? <laughs> if you're talking like when it comes to like a dish, my favorite food personally is shrimp fried rice. I love that stuff, especially if I'm ordering Chinese food or something like that. I No question, I don't care how expensive it is, I'm getting some shrimp fried rice. And the final question for today is from EBG1. If you could design a Pokemon, what would it look like and what type would it be? 
All right, so I'm not gonna actually I'm actually not gonna answer your I'm gonna sort of kind of sort of answer your question, but basically like this, I've actually made my own Pokemon hack before with fake mon and stuff like that, and I've designed my own Pokemon before, like a ton of them when I was younger, and the middle school days and uh, a little bit of the late high school days, early high school. But if I could pick any one that I personally like the most, is uh. Basically, I had this one Pokemon that was a rock and ghost type, and it was literally just a gravestone with a like ghost, ghostly hand popping out of it, and I named it Grave Limb. You know, Grave and Limb as in its arm. Grave Limb. But with, just without the B. Grave Limb. I love that name. It was cool, and I wish that was an actual Pokemon. It would be like the, the ghost type Diglett. <laughs> Alright, guys. It's finally time. For that giveaway results so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press this rerun button right here and um i'm just gonna press it once we'll find out who wins the first card then i'll press it again and we'll see who wins the second card so the first winner of the ten dollar eShop card is yen loche there's some clapping for you there you go you're the first winner of the $10 eShop card. Uh, so yeah, let's get to the second person. We got 113 people left. Let's see who wins. The second person who wins the second $10 eShop card is... Bounceable Rock. Congratulations, Bounceable Rock. You have won. So... How this is going to go is that I'm going to give these guys one week to get in contact with me somehow. Uh, uh, either whether it be through, whether it be through, uh, you know, YouTube, Twitter, or Discord. Um, just telling me, like, hey, uh, hey, hey, I saw that I won and stuff. Uh, how do I get my card? So, uh, <clears throat> if, you, if you do get this and then, like, maybe go in the comments or something and say something... I want you to either either contact me on Twitter, and I have my Twitter down in the description, both of my Twitters, or you can contact me on my Discord, which I have a link for, uh, that you can join. And then you can just let me know who you are, um, <laughs> and you know, I'll give you the code. Um, obviously, um, for the last giveaway I had, I had someone who tried to impersonate the winner, um, <laughs> so I need you to give me some proof that, uh, at least some kind of proof that, uh, <laughs> that, you know, you're you. Uh, like, I don't know, uh, tell me the question that you asked me or something. I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for commenting, entering the giveaway. I have a lot more content planned for the rest of this year, especially when Let's Go Pikachu and Smash comes out. Um, especially when Smash comes out. I'm actually planning to have a midnight stream of for Smash Ultimate because I'm gonna be getting the game digitally, so I'm gonna be just be playing that game all night. Uh, <laughs> and when it comes to Pokemon Let's Go, I'm thinking about doing a live stream like me, like a live video of me let's playing the game, you know, from start to finish, not all the way, but like in short bursts um, via live videos, um, <laughs> or at least, or maybe through a recording of some sort. And then, uh, that's from, and then I have other videos like, you know, core videos and stuff like that, main videos, um, regular, Rhythm Heaven custom remixes and all that stuff. So, even though you didn't win, don't unsubscribe. I have a lot more other content planned for the rest of the year and for the year, ne and for the year, next year and the next, and stuff like that. So I really appreciate you guys for coming out, subscribing, and I hope you guys, you know, stick around, especially for my live streams, for my gameplays. Um, for my live stream, <laughs> I already said live streams, for my remixes, um, meme videos, because, you know, who doesn't love a good meme? <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this has been Gravity the Ghost, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, see y'all later!